Amazing show tonight, lads. I've got a few questions for you. And firstly, I know you commentate for UFC Esports. Who produced a performance tonight that's worth playing on a Cage Legacy video game? Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, there were so many good performances this evening. Uh, I know Stringer had a great performance yeah. as well. Main event, even yeah, though it was classic. very dominant performance as well. Uh, I don't know who got the biggest pop, you know? That's how I just decided. For me, at the start of the night, I'm going to say Keith Keel. Yeah. Got the biggest pop. 15 on 1 as an amateur. A contentious split decision is his only loss. Now 1 0 oh as a pro. We said it in commentary. I thought his game was better suited to pro. Mm. He illustrated that tonight with a beautiful performance. Yeah, with the knees to the head. Yeah. He would be fun to play in a video game as well. Most certainly would be. And if we're going to take this a step further, we could have a promoter mode with Dollar Deck. That'd be fun, picking out all the best fighters in Ireland. <laughs> I would definitely like to do that, you know? Don't, I'm telling them these things. You know? <laughs> it's limited time, but that would be great. Yeah, I'd love to do it. I know you were addicted to football manager. Oh, I had, an, I had a pretty pretty bad <laughs> football. Uh, 2005, jeez, that was a tough time. Yeah, promoter mode would work, yeah. Absolutely, and I know over the course of your career, you've worked for so many different promotions. Hexagon and Brave are one you do quite regularly, and I saw a video you posted once. You were in Nance with Brave, and your commentator, he was a bit difficult to work with. I think he was bombarding you. He was difficult to share a room with. Is it easier working with this fella here? Do you know what? This is our first time working together and I genuinely hope it's not the last. We had a ball up there. It was essentially like um, just have, watching fights, having a conversation with your buddy. So, yeah, I'd love to do that again. Oh, a compliment, that is. I'll take that to, take that to bed, that one. <laughs> it's nice to get a bit of a, a, bit of a bromance going on here. But three lads to finish with. Obviously, we had Lee Chagwick, Richie Smalley, and, of course, Chris Stringer as well. Just summarise what those guys did tonight. Sensational showings. Well, for, for me, Chris Stringer is a, a pioneer of Irish MMA, a pioneer of British MMA. So to see him go in and perform the best I believe he's looked in a very long time. He was talking about hanging up the gloves after this fight. No, not anymore. A performance yeah. like that, cannot wait to see what he does next. Yeah, I mean, they all had the same kind of international opponent as well. Like They all had Brazilians they had to overcome. They were all tough fights in their own way, but every guy performed, showed up, showed the best parts of their game as well, and they got great victories. So I think everyone was pleased. I, I, I thought it was a great show because yeah, yeah. of it. So. Well, thank you, guys. It's a genuine privilege speaking to both of you, and I hope we can get together one day on the sofa and play Cage Legacy, the video game. But before I let you go, have you guys got any closing words on what was a fantastic show tonight? Uh, no, I'm just very privileged to have been asked to come do this one. Hopefully, it's not my last Cage Legacy, you know. Uh, might have to make a flight to Ireland, <laughs> I guess, but we'll see. But I had a, I had a great time, so. Yes, at Cage Legacy are doing great things, not only in the scope of Irish MMA, but also now British, uh, global, European MMA. Long may it continue because I think the sport is really, really gathering pace now and has that legitimacy that we all craved yeah. at a stage. And to play a very small part in that is wonderfully gratifying. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Man. Thank you. It. Great. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.